But science doesn't require faith. It requires evidence. Evidence is missing. How about when the textbook talks about the law of biogenesis, how life cannot come from non-life, but then in the next chapter it talks about how all life sprung from non-living material. And then it talks about mutation and natural selection and how it can change one animal into another, but mutation only loses information and natural selection can only choose from what's there. So how does a simple living organism turn into something like us, all without intelligence or design? I just think it takes a lot more faith to believe in evolution than it does to believe that all the design, marvelous design around us points to a designer. And now I'm just rambling, so does anyone else have a question? Today's students receive over 250 pages of evolution teaching before graduating high school. We've worked with leading scientists to develop a six-lesson video program that addresses all ten pillars of evolution and provides evidence that supports the biblical creation account. The program is great for students who want to become grounded in the biblical worldview on origins and learn how evolution theory doesn't hold up. Visit GenesisApologetics.com to order today.